Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Friday Night Magic. This week we are going to be playing a Gruul Landfall deck. Hakeem forced me to do this. I didn't want to. He said, you have to, or else you're the worst person on the internet. And I said, okay, Hakeem, fine, we'll do that. Ooh. No, not, not, we don't have our one drop here, but we got two two drops plus the uh, Mega Ramp, which I do like. Uh, so this is a deck, it's Gruul. Green and red, and landfall. Lots of creatures that benefit from landfall, and lots of ways to trigger that landfall. Besides the simple act of placing a land into play. Um, ooh, evolving wilds. Wow, we could do like a mega landfall super trigger or something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, oh man, do I save this? I should draw a third land by the time. My major concern: I should draw a third land in the next two turns. To Nissa's pilgrimage. If I don't, then we've got the concern of not being able to pilgrimage on turn three because Evolving Wilds will bring a land into play tapped. I don't think I'm going to be terribly concerned. I don't think I'm going to worry about that too, too much though. And we're just going to play the Force anyways. Part of my brain wants me to play the Evolving Wilds right now and trigger to get the land into play to be certain we could do a Nissa's pilgrimage. But the fact that the Evolving Wilds gets the like double landfall effects for my creatures it could be really cool you know what i mean okay and we drew a third land anyways um and this is going to come into play on tap next turn okay so perfect so we're going to play the mountain and let's take a look what we have we got the two one trample all right which has got the landfall plus one plus one and then we've got the two two which has a landfall plus one plus one now because he's got an oh three wall i guess we should just go with the trample creature well i mean i suppose it doesn't I, we'll just go with the trample creature we'll just go with the trample creature because we could do, like, we could go Evolving Wilds, uh, Pump Up, Trigger, Pump Up, you know what I mean? Like, there can be a whole big thing with that. But next turn, we're probably just going to play the Cinder Glade anyways and attack. Cinder Glade Pilgrimage. Yeah, I'll probably do Cinder Glade Pilgrimage. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that works. Maybe that works. Maybe we'll just do the Snapping Gnarled right now. And I actually think... Well, I should have made that decision before I played the land because I could have pumped up the Gnarled for this turn. Not that it would have mattered because he's not attacking, but it would have mattered if he's got, like, Tar Creature gets minus two, minus two or something. That could have saved the Gnarled from being targeted by that, you know what I mean? So. That could have saved the Gnarled from being targeted by that. Alright, so he's going to gain one life off of his landfall trigger. And he did take the damage, but he's gained life, uh, 3 to Intimidate. Part of me just says, wants to say screw it and attack into it anyways. So we're gonna go... Evolving Wilds. This is actually really good. Nissa's Pilgrimage. And then if he blocks with the 3-2 to kill one of these creatures, um, what I can do... is pump this up to pump them up even further and actually save them. This is freaking hilarious. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Look at the creatures we have already. Okay, so we're gonna attack with both of these. Let's see if he tries to block the 4-3. If he does, this is gonna be hilarious. Instant speed, Areno, Destructureno. He doesn't do it, he just lets it all go through. Eight damage to the dome. That is freaking awesome. Okay. So the, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have pumped up. Because we've got four, five. We would have had six. Wait, wait. No. We've got three, four. We'll have five. And next turn, we'll be able to play six. Oh, shoot. I think I'm going to pump this up so that I can get my dude in play. No, no. We'll save this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow roll it. And, and trigger him with other stuff. What is this? Oh, no. Bone splinters. What is he sacrificing? His wall? Sacrifices wall to kill that. I can't do anything about it. Reach other elves. Get plus one plus one when it attacks. Yeah. Uh, bone splinter. Shit. Okay. So I think I'm going to save my Evolving Wilds trigger. And I'll probably even save my Nissa's Pilgrimage for when I've got this guy in play. Now, the other option... I mean, I think I've got time to play this a little slower. I don't think I have to rush this out quite yet. I 
Uh, maybe I don't have to, though. Maybe I'm being un unreasonable with, with going this slow. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, oh no, he's got first strike, actually. I, sh I can't swing. I can't swing. Alright, I'm gonna, I guess I'll do this now. I guess we'll just do this now. Part of me wanted to save it for um, Omnarth, but we also have the renewal. So I'm gonna attack for four. If he blocks, I will Evolving Wild. If not, I will save it for when this guy's in play. Okay, perfect. So I actually don't want to use it, because I'd rather just use it when this guy's in play and get the extra, um, you know what I mean? And get the extra 5-5 five, five thrown down. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. That thing has reach, not first strike. <laughs> Whatever. All right, all right. So we're still good. That intimidates scary, but... Alright, so do I have six in play right now? One, two... Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna be able to do... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Here we go, ready? It's fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna play that. Triggers. Play this. I'm going to swing with both of these three twos. See what he does. Pop this. And we should just grab a red, I guess. And we should win next turn with Exquisite Firecraft. Alone. Um, wait. No, we don't win with Exquisite Firecraft alone, actually. Well, we'll have another tr Trample Swing. Actually, you know what? Maybe we win with Nissa's uh, Renewal. That gives us three lands in play. And my only concern, honestly, is just dying to this freaking Intimidate. Like if he's got <laughs> if he's got crazy Pump Up, I mean he's green, so we could like a Might of Oaks right now would. Almost kill me. Although I don't think, I'm pretty sure it's on this thing. Yeah, not a big deal. He's gonna swing with the Intimidate and just the Intimidate. Okay. Uh, so, let's see the ways. Oh, wait, we, knew, we do just win with the Exquisite Firecraft. <laughs> um,. I mean, I guess we should just freaking play it, right? I don't... There's no reason to... I, 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 like, part of my brain is like, I want to get all of the 5-5s five as possible in play and do all of these things, but we should just... I should just win the game. <laughs> we can win the game. <laughs> oh, gosh. If I just, like, didn't have the revenge and had a second land, I would 110% keep this hand. I can't, though. Ooh. This is fun looking. We've got the Snapping Gnarlid. We've got the um, Fastwood Seer, which I believe in this deck is simply played for the ramp. I don't think we sit on we sit on her like we do in many other uh, decks. I think we just straight up play it for the ramp. So my big concern right now, though, is I don't have anything to play this. I could certainly do the Evolving Wild trigger. But then I'm not getting that extra landfall effect. So for now, I'm just going to plan on the Gnarlid for turn two. And possibly Nissa for turn three. Uh, I might have to Evolving Wild soon. Because um, otherwise, my Slide Runners are never going to see play. I should still just do the Vast with Seer, though, I believe, right now. Oh, perfect. Uh, do we still just fast with Seer anyways, though? Yeah, maybe we do. Yeah, I think we do. And then we can Grove Rumbler next turn with another land. All right, let's play this. Plus fast with Seer. And this is solely for the ramp. And that's going to dig through. I wish I could get a mountain from this, but we can't. We can only get a forest. 
then swing for three. Oh, come on! Thank God it's a trade, at least. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he chooses to tap it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really concerned about Counterspell, but I'm going to give this a go anyways. Actually, no, nah, I should wait till I've got Landfall in play. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah! All right. Concerned about another Flash creature, but screw it. Let's swing for two. And next turn... No, we can't, no, we can't. I was going to say, next turn we could Acid Moss and play that, but I don't think we're going to be able to. 4-5 Flying um, Landfall. Tap target creature and opponent controls. If that uh, Tap target creature and opponent controls. If that land is out on that creature, doesn't want to tap during its next on tap step. That is sick. Damn. I'm just going to pump this guy up huge and swing for a boatload. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, now I'm wishing I'd played these guys early instead of the Nyssa. Yeah. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we can flip her next turn. We can flip her next turn. So maybe we should do this. So that way we can flip her. Part of me wants to play these before doing these lands, but these guys can't attack anyways, so there's no point. And I'm going to do this just to flip her right now. Actually, wait, if I... F oh my god, I think I screwed up. He can just attack and kill her. I screwed up. Fuck, man. I actually didn't want to flip her. Well, if he doesn't have another island, we should just be able to win next turn with the double Evolving Wilds. Hell, I can guarantee a win with Rogue's Passage. Okay, never mind. How much are we going to be able to get? Sacrifice two Eldrazi Signs, return Deathless Bone. Okay, whatever. Alright, can we win with the Rogue's Passage? No. I just need him to not play. I just need him to not play an island, and we're gonna end up. We're gonna just win with the Grove Rumbler at some point. Plain and simple. If he doesn't play an island, we win with the Grove Grove Rumbler. If he keeps playing islands, then I'm fucked though, because the thing just keeps staying tapped. But Rogue's Passage, um, with the two evolving wilds will be enough to, um, should be enough to win, plus these guys. Two, four, two, four, six, that's nine. Maybe not, I don't know. Oh my god, and now he just fucking is gonna get a, gonna trigger that to get an island at any point. Why would you tap the Rogue's Passage, you fucking game? Holy crap! Why would you tap the Rogue's Passage, you fucking game? 
Oh my god, this is fucking unbelievable. This video game is so fucking... Oh my god. <sighs> Guess it didn't matter. But that fucking... It's the worst <laughs> shit ever. Mm, it's a little too late game for me. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so just start off with our tap land. And then we will play... Well, let's see what he, if he does anything early. No, oh, don't tell me you've got no lands in your hand, dude. <laughs> Um, we need to draw one more land pretty desperately. If we draw one more land, we're good to go. If we don't, we could be in a tough place. I might eventually even play the Abbot. If we don't draw a land next turn, I might play the Abbot to try to dig for a land. To try to get close. Basically, the goal of which is to get closer to land. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now we're not playing the Abbot. But I am going to develop the board some more. And then, um... Next turn will be a pilgrimage. Unless we draw... If we draw into a land, I'm actually going to play the Acid Moss. And we're going to get rid of, um... Maybe his black? Well, we'll see what he plays next. If he plays... Whatever he has more of, we'll, we'll get rid of the limited resource. <clears throat> this could be huge. If we, if we top deck an untap land... This could be huge. So... 1-1 one, one flying, enters battlefield, search your library for land. Reveal it. Okay, let's see what he gets. Swamp, fuck. Alright, well, let's get rid of his one. Okay, here, fingers crossed, untap land. Nope. Okay, well, say la vie. Um, we're gonna pilgrimage, though. This is really huge. So now I'm questioning next turn whether or not I should play the Acid Moss or if I should just play the Firebird. It's a big question. Why would he block the Trample Creature? Oh no! Can I tell him? Can I like type to him? No, don't block the Trample Creature! Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, that is an excellent destruction target, because it's a dual source. But if we draw the land... If we draw land and play a Firebird, do we win? No. We don't. Another creature die. Uh, another creature you control dies. Exile her. Flip her. If you do, put a two-two zombie into play. I don't know why I thought we were sure to win with the three-three, anyways, because he does have a flyer. <clears throat> you know what I mean. He's going to be able to flip... He's going to be able to block this and flip Liliana. No, actually, if he blocked this and that dies, Liliana would die too. So he's not going to block with Liliana. So he means he'll take the 3-2 trample and he'll block the 3-3. Three, three and get to flip Liliana. The question is, am I okay with that? Plus he gets a 2-2 two, two guy in play. Yeah, but he's going to lose his flyer, which is going to let the firebird swing in the air. So I think I'm going to do this, because he's going to lose his flyer, which is good for me. He blocks the trample. 
This guy is clearly new to the game. I don't understand, Hakeem. Alright, so he's gonna trigger Liliana. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, last ditch effort. Yeah, because he is down to four health. I was just scratching my head very hard. Not literally, you guys could see if I was doing that. I was just very confused, but yeah, this is like a last ditch effort. Wait, what the fuck is that? Choose a card to discard? Okay. Um, fuck it, man, get out of here, Abbott. How, how many cards am I discarding? Are you serious? What the fuck is this card? Target opponent discards two cards. Okay, there you go. I got rid of the Firebird because I can bring it back. Maybe I should have kept the Abbot over the uh, Acid Moss. All right, did we just win here? We might. Um, let's see. He blocks. Let's see. He blocks the 2-2 two, two, and the 3-2. One goes through, two goes through. We don't win here. Hmm. I think we still have to attack anyways, though. Plus, he could screw this up. Maybe he blocks the 3-2 trample with his 1-1 one, one or something. So, one goes through. Two goes through. This guy lives. That guy lives. Those two die. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. We still have three creatures in play, and he's down to one. So, he has to play three blockers to not... Or, he has to either clear the board or play three blockers to not lose next turn. And with only one black, I don't, I don't believe he could... Okay, there we go. That's it. Second main phase done. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cool, man. Unnecessary. All of this is unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know why. I even, well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe he's got stuff, you know? Maybe this isn't unnecessary. I should not be so assured of my victory. You know? Maybe he's got a fog and we, we're waiting another turn. Looks like he doesn't, though. This is a very strange hand. Like, part of me wants to keep it, but the other part of me says... Maybe no. Ah, fuck it. We'll just keep it. Whatever. We'll, 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 evolving wilds, trigger, scythe leopard, and then we can do some other stuff. The only, like, it sucks to use the evolving wilds in this manner. I would almost never want to do it this way. But we've got to turn, we're going to have a, actually, maybe this hand was dumb. Because now we don't even have a turn one drop, actually, because... Turn one drop doesn't count if you can't play it on turn one. It's basically not a turn one drop at that point. So I don't know what I was thinking, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but we can still keep this going. We're going to play him. And if we draw a land next turn, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Especially if we draw a mountain next turn. If we draw a mountain, we can go Scythe Leopard and the Slide Runner. So let's see here. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, perfect. That's really good. That's really good. And then next turn we can... We could either Seer or Pilgrimage. I might... Throw the seer down just to have the extra creature in play, to be honest with you. Although, if we draw a land, we will play the rumbler. And then the turn after, we will play, like, pilgrimage. Okay, Creeper Vine gets him a land. Ooh, if we get our land... Oh, no, never mind. He does have another... I was gonna say, is that his only green source that he just fetched for? No, okay. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw her down just to get the extra creature in play. Just like that. 
get a forest, boom, play a forest, and let's swing with all these bros. Swing with everything. So the question for next turn, that blocks, takes three, four, five, is do I rumbler and then pilgrimage after, or do I just pilgrimage next turn? Well, actually, if we just pilgrimage next turn, we might just win off the pilgrimage. Depending. Because we're going to get two pump-ups on our creatures. So it's going to be 4, 8, 11, 12, 13. Oh, no, he, he has a blocker. What the fuck is this card? Oh, it costs three. Okay, I was like, that is insane. Wait, what did he get rid of? Oh, my God, he didn't get rid of Nissa. That's kind of crazy to me. Um, you're gonna play Grove Rumbler, Forest, and I think we—I think we, we'll most likely win next turn unless he's got some more removal, which he may very well because he's got Black in the deck. Black's got removal, and we swing with everything because he can just block. He could block the two-two with the one-one, but he's gonna block the three-three to reduce the damage. He also gets a one-one in his place, but he does take four damage, bring him down to eight. He's in a little bit of trouble now, I'd say. He's in a wee bit of trouble. And he could sack this for mana? Yeah. That's not a bad card. That's actually really good. It's one for a 1-1, one, one, and it gives you a 1-1 one, one that can also be sacked for mana. That's a pretty good card. Wow, another one of those? Holy crap. Dude, what? Unreal. All right, whatever. All right, so we're gonna play the pilgrimage for the lands. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually gonna flip her, but if I play this. That, they're both going to get pumped up one more time. Whatever. Flipping her also protects her. And we don't win this turn either way. So let's just flip her first. We're going to give both of these plus one in the process. Okay. This is this helps protect her from the future of, of him killing it. Like next turn or something. We weren't going to win that turn anyways. Plus they might get pumped up once more because of the plus one. Not that it'll matter, because they're both going to be blocked either way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's saving his 1-1. That must mean that he's uh, he's going to be using the mana next turn. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Damn. Look at that. Um, I don't know. If that's, is that enough to save him, though? Might not be enough to save him here. Okay. Throw this in play. This is renewal. Oh boy. <laughs> um, go with the reveal. Come on, get a land, get a land. Yeah! Goes into play. Freaking landfall can be mighty hilarious, I'd say. And just like, just like maximum damage. Here we go. This was a firecraft. And then we're swinging for 13. That's a negative seven victory. That's a victory negative seven. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome.